just be a myth, and that Eric was just a loud-mouthed edgelord. Yet, the truth lies in the eye of the beholder, as they say. In every map made by Eric Harris prior to the incident, he excitingly promoted his real Doom patch in the text files, and that you need to email him to get it. UACLabs.wad, which is Eric's most known map, has an ending screen containing some of the wads he posted previously. And well, there it is. The 17th of September of 2018, 14 Jamar, yet again, posted this on archive.org, Columbine Doom 2. This is a very dark and quite disrespectful mod that will make you feel like shit in the process. For the sake of this video, I downloaded the WAD and launched it. And let's just say that this wasn't a good idea. This wad is of unknown origin. Nobody knows where it came from. Not even Jamar himself knows where it came from. He believes it originates from pre-2016 Fortune, which makes a lot of sense, but no one really knows. As far as I'm concerned, this might be the real deal. In this mod, you can play as Dylan Klebold or Eric Harris. Yet, apparently, Eric's character crashes the whole thing. So we will choose Dylan instead. Well, well, here we are, the Columbine High School. One thing that is made very clear when you start this WAD are the sound of your footsteps. We spawn outside the school in the parking lot and there's already a ton of people running. One thing that I found interesting is that there are some pigments scattered through the entirety of the school and you are not able to damage them, no matter what you do. The only entities that can take damage are the cars, people, and yourself. Someone really took its time to make this one. Auditorium, gymnasium. Library Media Center. What are you supposed to be? It looks like a Doom Guy sprite with but with something else. Oh before the incident began, Eric and Dylan had planted pie bombs all across the school's cafeteria and parking lots. The bombs were set to detonate at 11.15am, killing the 400 plus students that were in the cafeteria at the moment, and even more if the school structure collapsed. The bombs outside in the parking lot were set to detonate when the place was full of police officers and distressed parents. Yet, thankfully, all of the bombs failed to detonate. This attack was initially a bombing. but after the bombs failed to detonate, Eric and Dylan moved to plan B. Kill everyone in sight. Eric and Dylan killed in cold blood two students in the west hallway and nine students and one teacher inside the school's library, where most of the madness took place. I know that this is just a what for Doom, a video game, something that doesn't exist in the physical plane, yet it's strange how the mind works. While playing this, I felt a huge sense of guilt plaguing my thoughts. Of course, if you do not know the context of this, this might pass as just another Doom water. But knowing about the Columbine incident while playing this, inevitably your emotions take over, and you feel the weight of your actions in the game instinctively. At least that's how I felt. I don't know why, I cannot give a concrete reason as to why I feel that way, but for some reason I feel very wrong for doing this. I wonder if this is actually a one-on-one -on -one recreation of the Columbine High School. Moments before the attack began, Eric uploaded to his private website and the Columbine High School's network his life's work, his very own magnus opus, a what for Doom 2 called Tear, which is German for animal. Yet, as you have guessed it, this word is currently lost and no one has been able to take a hold of it, at least not yet. The FBI's report on the incident concludes that Eric was a clinical psychopath and the mastermind behind this whole plan, while Dylan was diagnosed with depression and primarily participated in the plan as a means to end his life. The supervisor advisor in charge of the investigation said this about the two. Eric wanted the school to kill and didn't care if he died, while Dylan just wanted to die and didn't care if others died as well. Several lawsuits were filed against video game manufacturers across the United States, some of which were filed against its software, but were dismissed by a US district judge as there was no way the makers of violent video games could have reasonably foreseen that their products would cause the Columbine shooting or any other acts of violence. And well, that's where the story of Columbine and its association with Doom ends. 
or does it? I found out that there's a group of Eric and Dylan fans called the Columbiners, and honestly, I do not even know if I should cringe or just disconnect myself from the internet forever. La neta del planeta, los Columbiners son unos imbéciles. ¿Qué más puedo decir? My friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed so there's one thing to take on about this video i i didn't want to hear about the rest of the yapping of the other doom maps but this is obvious the fact that gamers find such horrific events funny and i know people in general outside of gamers find that shit funny once in a while but i think they do it out of revenge purposes as i like to call it we do it out of the fact that we find gory shit really really fucking funny or something unhinged now what do we learn from this and it's a very obvious lesson all right this is why gamers justifiably get bullied when you speak to a normie as some of you morons would call it i, I just say someone who's just outside of the gaming community you speak to a a person outside the gaming community this is what they think it's one thing that we know that you're weird but the one thing that bothers us the most is the fact that you find the wrong things funny this i couldn't unfortunately agree more the fact that we find stuff like the the columbine shooting funny or 9 11 funny this is why gamers are always going to be last place this is why we will always be bullied until the end of time i know everyone's playing video games now but still like if you're a hardcore like loving games type of person that's when they really start not liking you this is the problem with our group of entertainers or at least our in particular social group that we find unhinged shit funny like this it's okay you can laugh it up and you know think this shit is funny but i'll make this very 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 clear to you this is why you're also the one who doesn't get a girlfriend. This is why you're just not liked by anybody. Then you wonder why these people don't come around and be nice to you. If you notice anyone else being like just, Haha, yeah, Jeremy, you're really funny or that's awesome, Jeremy. Yes, that that's funny, bro. Like they get annoyed with your presence because all you're thinking about is edge ball shit. Damn, I didn't know Tumblr was that place for edgeballness. I, I'm shocked. The fact that motherfuckers are doing that is just interestingly uncomfortable and crazy. See, this is the problem with us that needs to get fixed for years. We are the only ones who think this shit is funny. We are the only ones who disrespect the dead. We are the only ones who would desecrate the dead if we had to but see it's okay i just had to understand that ignorance is very strong in our community you can never get rid of it it's like the anime community if you look up top waifus the first one is a literal lolly that comes first before all women just letting you know that much just like the anime community, the gaming community go hand to hand. <laughs> oh my god, man. Like, lollies apparently over women. That, that makes sense. And gamers are like, yeah! They just grab each other's hands and be like, yeah, just shaking it, dapping it up. And be like, yeah, I don't like women, bro. I don't like women. See what I'm talking about? Like, we find the wrong shit entertaining. We find the wrong shit sexually attractive. 
This has to stop. I don't know how many times I have to see it 24-7, but it's driving me fucking nuts. At first, I was going to ignore it and say it's just them, but this is now becoming a major majority of us. The unhinged shit needs to stop. The fucking uh, PD file needs to stop as well. Like, you guys need to stop doing this weird shit. I get it. Nothing's working out in life, but it, at least be smarter. Look, I don't want to keep going on this rant about this. Obviously, people are just going to take this as a joke and be like, you're sensitive. Yeah, of course, I'm apparently sensitive when I'm calling out the truth. The fact that people cannot see that this is... Just disturbing in itself. It explains the mindset of the person behind this. It really does. Besides the person, the people who find this cool too. But I mean, you know. Every time you call out people like this, everyone's just going to say you're sensitive. This, this is the reason why I feel like the future is a little bit more tolerable than the past. I can't stand how the future is right now. But the past... I can't. You motherfuckers just keep proving me why the future just needs to be the thing now. The fact that I'm seeing shit like this. And people don't feel like they're in the wrong for it. That that makes total amounts of sense. You know, when you get put in the fucking cell block. I mean, now you're going to feel like you're wrong. But it's too late to say that. Hmm. Like. People like this need to just be put in jail over and over and over again. Just for the fuck of it. Once in a while, people just need to mess with them and just put them in jail. Well, that's a problem, man. Look, guys. I'm gonna end it off here. Because, you know, all that yapping that this guy was doing about this other Doom map shit. Which I can care less about. I'm just here to make a point. About the fact that we need to stop doing the unhinged and PD file behavior. The weird behavior has got to go. Maybe people will stop bullying us for this shit. But until then. Keep getting bullied until we have all learned our lesson as a cohesive unit. Other than that. Y'all have a good one. Peace out. Hi, I'm Lucy Christian. I am the voice of Otako Urabanka, and you should subscribe to New Sanity's channel. Peace out!